Now, I like this one. Now, this one came into, was this a private message or a messenger feed one? Uh, our breast capsule is more likely in very slim women. This was a question that came up today. Okay. A new patient. Okay, so, first of all, what are breast capsules? If you've got a breast implant that's been put in, your body will eventually wall it off with scar tissue. That happens 100% of the time, it never doesn't happen. And that's called a capsule. The risk of that developing that I quote, um, sorry, that's 100%. It can, in some people, go on to form this thing called adverse capsular contracture, which is where the capsule starts to shrink and contract. And if you've got a floppy breast implant that then is being externally had pressure put on it, then it becomes more and more like a sphere. The surface area reduces, the volume stays the same. The thing with the smallest surface area to volume ratio is a sphere. So this uh, breast implant starts to progressively resemble a sphere. So what does that mean in your body? It um, often sits higher, projects more, becomes harder and may be painful. So uh, that's adverse capsular contracture. Capsule happens in 100% of cases. ACC is variable depending on the type of implant. With the ones I use, I quote an incidence of 5% at 10 years. So um, it's usually an uncommon event, but one of the more common adverse outcomes of breast implant surgery, actually. So um, is it more likely in slim people? No, it's not more likely in slim people, but generally, if you're very slim without much padding, you don't, it's, you're more unforgiving in terms of irregularities. So if you were to develop rippling of your implant, folding of your implant, you're more likely to see it. If your implant on one side was to get more projecting and harder and sit higher, you're more likely to see it. Um, sometimes a capsule, if you imagine we've got this sort of reducing surface area, it can cause the implant within it to actually fold because it's got less surface area to, to sit in and actually fold and crease. And if that happens, again, if you're slim, you might see the, cr the fold or more likely at the edge of it, you might see the knuckle that forms where you've got this soft implant that folds. And you might just feel a lump or a, a knuckle. And we get lots of, well, not lots actually, but I've heard a few people coming in and saying, I, I can feel, I think I've got this breast lump. What's that? And you say, actually it's the implant. And if you flatten it there, it goes and it appears there. And that can be a capsule phenomenon. Um, so yeah, they're not more likely if you're slim, but you're more likely to be aware of it if you're slim, I'm afraid.